you know, check it out. So, uh, new Sun and Warden sets have been datamined. This is interesting. This is very interesting. So, what do these Sun and Warden sets mean? Sun and, uh, sorry, Sun and Warden. I said Sun and Moon. So, these sets, first of all, are sexy. I kind of wish they were equipable. Maybe they will be. Maybe they will be. Uh, but as of right now, we're not really sure what these are from. All we know is that they've been datamined. There's a sun version and a moon version. And uh, I think it means maybe we're going to get some more Night Elf storyline. Maybe we're going to get some more Night Elf storyline. Let me tell you, though, if I was a Night Elf, I would want this to be wearable. We don't really have anything like this, where the uh, belt comes down and goes around kind of uh, the legs here. So this would be really cool stuff for Transmog. Again, if it was available, we'd find out. But uh, why is the sun version not golden orange? I agree. That's a mis that's a miscue on their part. Totally should have been golden orange. This looks like your typical warden colors. Uh, the moon is kind of whited out. Very nice. Again, we don't know why these are here. All we know is they are here. So uh, uh, maybe more Night Elf storyline to come. We do know they have a seed. They got to plant it. And uh, it hasn't really been talked about yet. It's kind of like the sword. That doesn't exist, right? Yeah, it would make a badass uh, warden. I agree. I agree. Good morning, Amaraz. How's it going? So, uh, trading post vendor shit. Yes, more trading post vendor shit. So, uh, the trading post with some of the stuff that is going to be available has been data mined. And damn it, this is some good shit, guys. So, don't forget, look at this. The Celestial Steed. 900 cost, right? This is a storm out. This is a storm out that will be available to buy with in-game currency. And don't forget, you get 500 of these coins just for logging in, just for having an active sub. The other 500 you get from doing trading post activities, which are very easy, it looks like, to do. So damn it, you can get the Celestial Steed. The first month the trading post is available. I was looking forward to seeing what the costs were going to be because I thought maybe, because these things are going to be like coming and going every month the trading post items are going to refresh right so i thought maybe oh you're going to have to spend wisely because the trading post items are going to be like 2k for a celestial steed so you're gonna have to save up for it and hope that when the the thing that you want comes up you can buy it but that's not the case 900 you can get a thousand in a month so you can easily get the celestial steed that first month that's available if you want it uh fury of the fire lord a cosmetic another mount here we're going to talk about this the Ashadar Harbringer of Dawn. Now, 1,000. This is going to be 999. So if you want this, this is the only thing you're going to get. So again, spend wisely. Especially that first month because you wouldn't have saved up anything yet. I mean, look at this. We got we got, we got got Transmog. We got uh, little items, toys, mounts. Uh, this stuff, me to me, this trading post is amazing. This trading post is amazing. It's a great addition to the game. I spent money on my years ago. Yes, I have the Celestial Steed. I bought it with my mom's credit card when I was like 15. I have it as well. So no worries. I'm not mad that this is available because it also means other store mounts are going to be available eventually. So fuck, yeah, it's great. It's great. Yeah, it was worth money because you loved it. There you go. There you go. So uh, it's. I think it's a great addition to the game. We're going to talk about this because there are also other new mounts coming to the store so here's one of this boys uh this one was data mined as well here are some data mine mounts many of these mounts have a sourceless trading post which is the new battle pass like you know i don't like this whole battle pass like shit that they tag this with because it gives it like a negative connotation some people don't like battle pass battle passes and they think oh wow we have a sub game with that it's not a battle pass really you're sub to the game you're not paying for the battle pass you're not paying like for a season you're sub to the game to play the game. You have to be subbed. It's a requirement to play this game. You're getting this just for playing the game, essentially. You're getting this just for playing the game. So this whole battle pass-like shit, I don't know how I feel about it, but it is what it is. Uh, description. Look at this thing. This is like a uh, the Horn Strider. So this is one of the mounts that have been data mined. It's a, it looks like a mix between a dragon and a hawk strider. It looks like a dragon and a hawk strider. Done, done the business, and this was the result. And uh, it's pretty cool. 
pretty cool. It's got some wings here. Looks like broken wings. Take these broken wings. Um, and then a little bit of a beak and a horn. Not bad, but this isn't the coolest one. Have you ever wanted to reach Gladiator and want PP? Maybe complete a mythic raid? Or actually attempt to collect all the things in World of Warcraft, you absolute madman? Well, when it comes to taking on big goals, we need energy levels that match the mission. Neurogum Energy and Focus is specially formulated with natural caffeine, L-theanine, and B vitamins to sustain the mental endurance necessary to stay focused on your goals. And if you're trying to actually collect everything in World of Warcraft, I would suggest the bulk bag. Head to the link below which will take you to GetNeural.com and use the code SAM10 at checkout for 10% off your purchase. Special thanks to Neurogum for sponsoring this video. That's what we need. We need... We need some Neurogum. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what we're missing. We, we're missing the Neurogum buff. <laughs> that kill was brought to you by Neurogum. I saw some other mounts that look so much better. And uh, it's these guys. The Ashadars Harbringer of Dawn. So we have a sun and moon themed saber. Look at this thing. Tell me you don't want this. From the trading post. From the trading post. And don't forget, like this thing comes and it's gone. The rarity of the mount is gonna, it, it's gonna be pretty good because this is a one month availability from the trading post. It's then it's gone. And I don't know how often they're going to re-rotate things through, but it's, it's you know, there's going to be a rotation. There's going to be, like, it might never come back. You don't know. So you get it. I think it's going to be a nice thing to see. Harbinger. What did I say? Did I say Harbinger? Harbinger. Yes. My bad. Yes, yes, you are correct. So that's the, that's the moon version of it. Very cool looking. I love the little, uh, you got the weapon on the side there. Very cool. And then, of course, the, the, this warden weapon on the side is great. And then we have uh, the sun version of it. Very cool. I mean, if you're a fire mage or something, this is badass. You're doing anything uh, elemental, fire shit, this is a cool mount to have. I love these saber mounts. I always have, always will. And uh, these two mounts in particular are very nice. Again, look at this. Armored Siege Kodo. There's a ton of these. A turtle. Tons, tons, tons of mounts. And then the last thing, last but not least, look at this, little whelpling. A little whelpling. I don't think this is a mount. That'd be hilarious if it was. I don't think so. It's probably just a pet, but also nice. Also nice. So tons of different mounts coming through, uh, coming through the trading post. It looks like the trading post is going to hold some real value, man. Some real, real value, and I'm really excited about it. A magical fish mount? Where? Wait, 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 wait. Did you see a magical fish mount? Armored Kodo, turtle... Coral Stalker, Waverly, Scenarian Hopper, the very last one, Magical Fish Mount. Oh yeah, there's no images for this yet. What the hell? It's just a title. Magical Fish Mount incre increases. No way. Increases ground speed, increases flight speed, and increases swim speed. Holy shit. How much uh, is the limit on to, to buy tokens? <laughs> to buy buy WoW tokens? I don't know. I don't know what the fucking limit on is, that, is on that. But the limit on the uh, the store, this uh, this whole uh, what's it called? This whole like trading post, you get a thousand per month. That's the max you can get. I mean, you could save up from month to month, obviously. But the thousand per month is the most you're gonna get. Crazy shit! Oh my god. Okay, yeah. So again, the trading post, I mean, you get 500 for logging in, and then you get 500 more by doing activities. Look at the kind of activities. Shit that you already do, some of it. Complete the Grand Hunts, 150 reward. Participate in the Community Feast, 50 reward. Use the buddy system while climbing. Look at this. Use the buddy system during a climb in a world quest, 50. Complete a group of dragon riding races, 150. Look at, some of them are kinky. Harpoon a fish with five friends. Use the harpoon with five other players to catch a fish. 50. Yeah, so it, like a lot of little things here. They're not like all major things. Complete a five-man dungeon with a cross-faction group, 150. Um, like I said, some of this stuff you're just going to get passively. Just for playing the game the way you currently do. Show some love to fallen dragons. 
type slash love at two uh, specified fallen dragons, 50. So lots of things that you can just run around and, and do. And it's, it's cool. It's cool. Does it require? No. Will you want to do it if there's a mountain in the trading post that you want that month? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Look at this. Eat a chocolate cake slice, lovely cake slice, and berry pie slice, 50. Just the most, some of the most random shit. Create 20 auctions. Just fucking grab 20 pieces of cloth and create 20 auctions. 100. 100. So again, these trading post activities, they look cool and fun. And they're just like, some of them are just out there. Some of them are the stuff that we do every day. And in the end, you can have a shot at getting some really cool items. And some in-store items that have never been available in-game. So that's, I think this trading post is a triple, double, quadruple win uh, for everybody who currently plays World of Warcraft. Last piece of news here, and probably the most important one. This was released yesterday, and I got so excited. I read it right when it happened. Right when it happened, I was like, holy shit. Blizzard just keeps winning these days. Blizzard just keeps winning. Blizzard to the citizens of Azeroth. It is with great joy that I announce Chris, Chris Metzen has joined the Warcraft leadership team as creative advisor. Chris's focus initially will be on World of Warcraft. Then he will work, uh, then he will work, will, his work will expand to other projects across growing franchises. Chris was one of the original team members working on the Warcraft universe back in 1994, back when Sam was four years old. And we are so happy to be reunited with him as he helped create the world. This is crazy. Thrall confirmed. Yeah, so if you don't know who Chris Menson is, Thrall was voiced by Chris Metzen. Um, he was also the voice of Ragnaros. Who else? Uh... He, he, he's voiced other some other bosses in the game. Um, Rexar was originally voiced by him as well. He's, he's a very orc voicey guy, but that's not all he did. He was the creative director. He, he helped form a lot of the Titan lore and everything that we've seen in the game for many years. And honestly, Chris Metzen, eventually, the reason why he left in the first place, um, he had kids, he wanted to spend more time with them, he felt burnt out. Um, I think Overwatch really did him in. He was a big piece of Project Titan, which was supposed to be Blizzard's next MMO. And eventually it kind of fell through, right? They couldn't figure out how to, how to cross the finish line with that game, and then they had to pivot eventually, and it became Overwatch. So I think that was really what got him in the end. And, um, and he went off and retired for a little bit. Written off and retired for a little bit. But it looks like he's refreshed and he's ready to come back. And I'm excited to have him back. I think he's a great piece of the WoW team. He's always been very passionate about World of Warcraft. And I think having him back on the team is a great, great thing for the game. Great, great thing for the game.